the Arizona Coyotes are taking their first public steps towards finding a new home since Tempe voters rejection last May of the hockey team's plan for a $2 billion arena and entertainment complex. Team Charles Bram Resnick has details about the team's announcement today of a potential site in Mesa. A new statement from the Arizona Coyote says the team's owner has executed a letter of intent to purchase a parcel of land in Mesa as a potential site for a new pro hockey arena. So what is a letter of intent to purchase land? It doesn't mean you're necessarily going to buy it. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to buy it at that price. Neil DeMoss has tracked public subsidies for pro sports facilities for 25 years. He's followed the Coyote saga. Well, you never want to take these deals too seriously until you actually see the financial agreement, right? The team's statement says it's still exploring other East Valley sites. There's no information on how it would pay for this new version of a sports and entertainment complex. You always want to follow the money. The money is, the money is what makes these things happen, not having a particular site that you sort of say, hey, that might be good. The team's announcement comes with the Coyotes on the verge of starting their second season in a 5,000-seat college arena on the ASU campus. I just, I just hope they stay. I'm very nervous about it. Back in May, Tempe voters resoundingly rejected the team's $2 billion plan for an arena and entertainment complex. Look at the actions and look at the history, and that commitment from us has never wavered. NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman is the reason the money-losing Coyotes haven't left Arizona. Bettman has said he'll have more to say on the team's future in the new year. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.